Hello. Hi everyone, it looks like we have quorum. Sherry, you have quorum. Thank you. All right, so it is uh, eight o'clock on Monday, February 6th, call to order a special meeting number uh, 353 of the Watches Regional School District Committee. Uh, this meeting is being recorded and streamed on the WRSD YouTube channel. Um, I want to remind everybody that we do have an executive session tonight. You should have received that email. Um, if you don't have that email, you can also access that link through your calendar. Um, and if you don't have either, if you can please let us know. Um, our task for tonight is the hiring of an interim treasurer. Uh, just to recap for anyone who wasn't at our last meeting, our current treasurer, Cami Lamica, is, has resigned and her last day will be um, February 14th. We have begun the hiring process for the new treasurer, uh, but we will not have someone in place before the 14th. Uh, I did speak with Michelle Griffin at DESE, and she recommended that we ask our municipal town treasurers if they would be able to step in to help. Um, earlier today, I sent, sent Randy all of my correspondence with the treasurers, but none of the town treasurers were able to step in. Uh, Victoria Smith, who is the treasurer from Sterling, recommended their assistant treasurer. Her name is Elizabeth Clements. Um, Liz is interested and available for the role, and she sent me the information about her current job responsibilities, as well as her bond information and a letter of reference. Um, I have spoken to her on the phone, and she does understand the urgent timeline and the responsibilities of what she'd be tasked with. Um, she did speak with Ms. Smith and um, with a Sterling Town Administrator, and they both told her that um, she can have flexibility in her position to make sure she can accommodate any duties she would have um, in the role here. Um, so with that information, I would accept a motion to appoint Elizabeth Clements as interim treasurer uh, and then to have further discussion. So moved. Second. second. I believe that was moved by Lauren and seconded by Brett. Thank you. All right, and now is there discussion? Brett? Just a quick point. I guess not since she has another job, but would she be interested in the full-time role? Would she have an opportunity to apply if she wanted to? Um, what kind of next steps are open or are known? Um, she did tell me today that she is interested in the role and she has submit, now submitted an application. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Matt? Just have a um, question on the, the, I know this is about the interim, but the the short term departure somebody have we started to advertise for for the the replacement of of the person who resigned yeah definitely um that position has been posted for about a week and a half or two weeks now i think um it's been on school spring and um for sure we've received Four applications as of now. Malia, do you want to add to that? I, I did. Um, so I did not get to the business and finance update at our last meeting. I can tell you that the business and finance subcommittee, which was appointed at our last meeting to serve as the screening committee, has met um, to consider candidates. Um, we actually are having interviews of several of them tomorrow evening um, in a meeting which is posted as an executive well, it will be mostly an executive session to conduct those interviews. So we are moving on an expedited timeline and hoping um, 
to have, if they all go well, to have some recommendation for you all shortly, but we are moving quickly through that process. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, um, Sherry and um, Member Gustafson. Uh, I would just say as we go through that process, perhaps just share with the, the school committee that I believe there is an option in our bylaws that a member of the, the committee could also do it without compensation. Um, but that, I think that that's worth just sharing with the body as we know we're in not the best financial situation. So if somebody were to do that, it might help with a budgetary um, piece long term as well. Yes, if, if anyone feels so qualified to be our treasurer, please uh, let me know. Is there anyone else? Okay, um, Sue. I just wondered if um, what kind of support you might have in easing into this position on the short term. I know it's part time. I think it's what up to forty hours per month. Um, so, do we have the resources to help our transition into this, even though it's only an interim position, given the um, financial uh, dilemma we're in? Sherry, I think you're on mute. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, I don't know how many resources she would need um, for this starting point. It seems like, um, you know, this first first week we're talking about just getting her signed over on all of our banks. Um, I have uh, drafts of letters written with all our account information for that to happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of um, administrative stuff, really, to start with. Um, Michelle, do you have any thoughts on that? We will do whatever we need to do to get her up to speed as quickly as possible. Great. Asima? Asima, did you have your hand up? Is there anyone else? Will we see if Asima can get back? She said she's going to call in. Thank you. All right, we'll just give her a second so she can ask her question. She's on the call. Hi, Sherry. May I speak? Sherry, you're on mute again. Yes, go ahead, Asma. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm, I'm very sure that Member Gustafson, the committee that has been formed, is going to do an excellent job. I just wanted to reiterate that I'm not against um, the interim role. But at the same time, in the past, as a committee, we have given people interim roles, and we've um, then, you know, not been very uh, open to change if a new candidate came along during interview processes. And one of the reasons we've always held on to as a committee was, well, they've already done the interim role, and they're part of this district, so therefore we should just give them the chance. And we've passed up really great opportunities when other candidates have appeared. I just want to make sure that when we're doing this interim role, we're not kind of locking ourselves into overlooking some other candidates that could really benefit this district, especially when it comes to finances. Thank you, Asma. 
Anyone else? Uh, seeing none, we can move to a roll call vote. I no. will. Sorry, go ahead, Randy. Show me go. Sure, thank you. And we're going to a roll call vote to. A roll call vote to appoint Elizabeth Clements as interim treasurer. Okay. Member Beardmore. Beardmore, yes. Member Brennan. Brennan, yes. Member Dennis. Dennis, yes. Member DeRosa. DeRosa, yes. Member Dubois. Dubois, yes. Member Gavarden. Gavarden, yes. Member Gustafson. Gustafson, yes. Member Kaminsky. Oh, he's not on. Member Kirschenbaum. Kirschenbaum, yes. Member Lavoy. Lavoy, yes. Member Longbelial. Longbelial, yes. Member Meter. Meter, yes. Member Otmar. Otmar, yes. Member Runstrom. Runstrom, yes. Member Sam and Garrett. Sam and Garrett, yes. Member Shapiro. Shapiro, yes. Member Silva. Silva, yes. Member Valentine. Valentine, yes. Uh, Vice Chair Woodland. Woodland, yes. And Chair Haber. And Chair votes yes. The motion passes. Thank you, everyone. Um, I would now accept a motion to move into executive session to discuss the contract of the interim treasurer to return to public session. So moved. Is there a second? Second. I believe that was moved by Lauren and seconded by Sue. Member Beardmore. Beardmore, yes. Member Brennan. Brennan, yes. Member Dennis. Dennis, yes. Member DeRosa. DeRosa, yes. Member Dubois. Dubois, yes. Member Gavarden. Gavarden, yes. Member Gustafson. Gustafson, yes. Member Kirschenbaum. Uh, Kirschenbaum, yes. Member Lavoie. Lavoie, yes. Member Longbelial. Longbelial, yes. Member Lorway. Not on the call. Member Meter. Meter, yes. Member Otmar. Otmar, yes. Member Runstrom. Runstrom, yes. Member Sam and Garrett. Sam and Garrett, yes. Member Shapiro. Shapiro, yes. Member Silva. Silva, yes. Member Valentine. Valentine, yes. Vice Chair Woodland. Woodland, yes. And Chair Haber. Yes, the motion passes and we'll move into executive session if everyone can go to the other link and we will be coming back here to finish our meeting.